Go to YouTube. I haven't done any work on pipes for a long time. And there's a whole bunch of people who'd like me to make a pipe for them. So I guess I'm going to have to do some work on pipes because I had a pipe come back to me 14 years after I made it, requiring a rebore. I always make a custom built cleaning rod with a depth gauge on the handle so that you can't physically go too far, unquote. But some people manage to lose their cleaning rod. And therefore, I wind up with this pipe coming back to me. I don't know whether you can see that there. It's uh, a wooden skewer. which has been stuck into the tar in the stem and there was probably a fair bit of tar in the stem because usually when people use the wrong thing to try and clean the pipe it's several days since they lost their actual ramrod so then going into the congealed tar and I'm pretty sure this pipe in the photo is this pipe that requires reboring so anyway I've got a bit of leather to try and cushion the shiny shiny of the epoxy. And we have the ancestral Stanley hand drill with a liquid paper point mark on the drill. And in the theory, I'm going to drill that wooden skewer out without making a mess of the stem. With the pipe stem held vertically in the vise. Okay, let's see how we go. Kind of tricky because it feels like the bamboo is harder than the Casuarina sub rosa.
Very sticky. Tarry and dirty. gluing itself into the drill flutes. <clears throat> Let's hope that means I'm getting past the end of the wooden skewer and into just the tar. Definitely more tar in it. Gee, it's glued in good. And of course the reason each pipe comes with its own specific cleaning rod is so that it can be cleaned after every smoke. And the tar can be pushed into the bowl and then the cleaning rod used in the bowl to bring the tar up, wipe it on a tissue, get it out of the stem. The whole idea of a pipe stem is that it cools the smoke which allows tar to condense from vapour into droplets and the droplets get stuck on the inside wall of the stem. So it's not actually an inconvenience to have to clean the tar out of the pipe stem every bowl. That's why pipes are considered a little bit cleaner and less damaging to the health 
than cigarettes is because the tar congeals on the inside of the pipe, not on the inside of your airways. That's why long stem pipes are better than short stem pipes. Short stem pipes are better than cigarette papers, in my opinion. But it means you're not allowed to take your pipe anywhere unless you take the cleaning rod with it. But otherwise, you'll be tempted to smoke three or five bowls without cleaning the stem and you get a huge amount of tar in the stem and when it starts getting a bit difficult people get tempted to put bamboo barbecue skewers or long thin pieces of grass stems or Occasionally they'll straighten the coat hanger wire and make a cleaning rod that is perfectly feasible but it's too long and they dig a hole out the other side of the pipe bowl. It's an art form, learning to smoke a pipe without making a mess of it. And it saves an awful lot of packets of cigarette papers. should title this movie Cleaning Drill Flutes. Damn, that should be pretty close. Well,
we have found a tunnel. The air is in fact getting through. Which is good. Tar sticks tight. There we go. I think it's probably been blocked for five years. But it is now fixed. I haven't got a cleaning rod for it, so I'll have to make one before I return it to uh, the customer, I guess you'd have to call the lady. Warbles on a lot to YouTube. Ciao.